because then I would do my Simpson couch gag. But uh, well, there's nothing wrong with uh, a change of pace from time to time. All right. Uh, might as well start off with the acronyms. There we go. I'm not a big fan of using them because uh, sometimes they have so many different meanings, but uh, sometimes I have no choice. I, I am willing to I drink different types of beer wherever I'm performing, but I found out that uh, I say, uh, if I say Pabst, uh, there was one place that gave me a hams. So I guess they heard me wrong. So now I have to say PBR if I want PAPS, and that's very hard for me, but sometimes you gotta do what you've gotta do. And I know that it's happened before where I've seen some of my friends on Facebook say AMA, which uh, to them means ask me anything. But uh, I like to have fun with them and saying, well, uh, there are other meetings for like American Medical Association or against medical advice. Of course, some of the things that are being asked about probably are against medical advice. Uh, because they're comedians, we experiment. Uh, so there we go, that's the first acronym, Joe. Uh, and then I, I uh, actually had to explain uh, what can be an acronym to somebody else, uh, where I said, sometimes what really helps me out when I'm out in that urban jungle is having resting bitch face. And then he said, I don't know what that is. And I said, well, if I don't know something, I'll look it up on Urban Dictionary. And yes, it was right there. I tried to explain best what I understood it was, but the angry look that says, don't mess with me, and that's close enough on what it said there. So it's like, okay, I guess I helped somebody out. It still reminds me of uh, how to explain other things to people, uh, like uh, my dad asked me what a partial birth abortion is when he met my then lady friend. It's like, why are you asking us the first time you meet her? And it's like, all right. Uh, it's three words. You know what all three words mean? You just mash them together, and there you go. It's the same way with hate fucking. It's like, you know what uh, both words are? Put them together. Um, yeah, I try not to be a one joke comic. Some people like that one about hate fucking. It's like, uh, no, there are others I need to do. Uh, it's kind of like what somebody said one time about, uh, uh, oh, uh, yes, make me laugh, monkey, or uh, something like that. Uh, like. I don't know, Mr. Teeny on The Simpsons. There we go, The Simpsons reference, done. Now I feel good and I can move on to the next one. Uh, oh yes, karaoke. I, I'm still surprised about how much material I get from doing karaoke. Uh, that's, I don't believe in stunts to get jokes, but sometimes they just fall into my lap. Because I, I am aware of how I say that I have to go to bars to perform. And the Brits call them pubs, short for pub lake. And when the general public goes somewhere, you might meet some weirdos. And it's still uh, an eye opener on uh, the people watching. I'm stuck with doing while I'm waiting to perform, uh, go sing karaoke. Like uh, uh, this weekend, uh, I, I had a bounce back person. It's like, oh, I hadn't seen him in a while. And they said, do you remember me? And it's like, wait a minute, you date that truck driver. And I just couldn't remember her name. And it's like, oh, all right, you again, OK. Uh, and today, I guess I relate to a lot to the man, even though I'm not a truck driver, because I'm the type that just wants my beer, uh, and uh, I, I just want to be left alone at a bar. And his lady is nothing like that. She wants to uh, 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 talk a lot with people, see that they're happy and everything. It's like, okay. And then it, it's memorable because uh, uh, she said that uh, they plan on getting buried at that bar, and it's like, all right, I haven't heard of that happening before, but if they invite me, yeah, I love being invited to weddings. I will probably go. Uh, so uh, it's just a matter of, all right, uh, can they find me by email or whatever, and where are they registered, because I know it's customary to send them a gift. Uh, so uh, I guess I have that to look forward to. And, they, and he said, oh, that guy's my bodyguard. And then he said, those, I, I, I'm their bodyguard. And it's like, so you're buds. It's like, okay, that would make more sense to me because I thought it was only the rich and famous that bodyguards. So all right, second karaoke story. Uh, it's still uh, weird. Uh, and some of the things that uh, people ask me to do when I don't even know their name when I'm at bars. Like uh, this weekend, uh, somebody said to me, uh, watch my drink in my coat when I go to the bathroom, okay, honey? And it's like, uh, all right, it, people most of the time understand when you drape a coat uh, on a chair or a stool, that means don't sit here. Uh, so uh, 
I even said honey to her in response. And then she said, well, watch my non-alcoholic drink. Except she was acting drunk, so I don't know why she felt the need to talk about what her drink was, because it didn't seem to match her demeanor. And then uh, the lady that replaced her after she uh, left that bar seat kept doing signals with her friends. It's like, what, are you pissed off at your friends right now? Where they kept saying, come here, come here, and that's why you're sitting next to me? That's all I can think of. I don't know. I didn't bother to ask them because it was none of my damn business. So there we go, the karaoke stories. Uh, it, it's how I remember things. I've noticed that Eminem has done it in his uh, videos on YouTube that I found, where he'll count it off in his fingers on what, where you go next. You do whatever works mnemonic devices. Uh, I found a foreign coin tonight, and I actually was fine with that because I like collecting stamps and coins. Some people say, oh no, it's worthless. Uh, and it's like, no, not to me, uh, to each their own. I mean, I wrote postcards on eBay. Uh, I mean, that's another uh, cheap thing uh, that you can collect because you just fit them inside the photo album. So it don't bother me any to find a Jamaican coin. Uh, I mean, it's like a poem I remember reading when I was in high school. Uh, maps are for homestaying vagabonds. I guess I can pretend to have visited all these places just because I have those coins. Uh, and then the last one, I saw a movie uh, this week, and I want to see that Laurel and Hardy biopic. John C. Riley is in it as uh, Oliver Hardy. Uh, I like biopics, but I'll have to admit that I didn't know most of the actors besides him. But hey, if the British were doing the movie, uh, that might be why. And I read IMDb before that where they claim that John C. Riley is this generation's Gene Hackman. Doesn't quite fit. Because Gene Hackman played every man a lot of tough guys, and John C. Riley plays a lot of goofballs and dimwits. Uh, so, no, it doesn't quite fit, but. Uh, well, people can write whatever they want, especially on a user-driven site like IMDb, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, so I guess that'll do it for me. Thank you, have been great.